we live in a society that's very individualistic, which is both really good and really bad. Um, the, on, the, on the negative side is we have people that fall through these cracks in society. And I, I, I'm sure many people have postulated that this kind of loneliness contributes to some of the violence, the alienation, suicide, um, homicide in society. And so this is an opportunity for us, really. If we want to have a better life, then I think we're going to have to create that better life, a, a, a better culture, a better society. We're going to have to create a better culture, a better society. How do we do that? It's up to each of us. We have the power to, to support them in these times of need, to keep an eye out. And I know we're all busy. We're all busy. We've got a million things to do um, between family, kids, work. Um, it, it can get pretty insane. We have neighbors, you know, um, we always see. We have coworkers, we have family members, and it really is this kind of personal responsibility we all have to keep an eye on them. And we see them maybe withdrawing from, from social interactions, maybe saying and things that are a bit worrisome. Um, you know, our natural tendency is like to kind of back away and give them space. But I, for many people, they don't need space. They need to know they're being heard. They need to know they're, they're somebody that cares. And so there's a few things we could do. So first is definitely internalize this feeling, you know, feel connected to that, the, these people around us. We're all Americans. We're all in this together. And if we do, if we're upset at this kind of division and these problems we're seeing in society, the violence, then we really do have a, a power to change that. Um, but it starts with us feeling connected to those around us. Uh, the second thing is speaking. Talk to people um, and let them feel heard. I, especially, like I said, those people that seem to be withdrawing, those people that seem to be very angry. Um, in the early days, people sometimes just need to feel that they've been heard. The, the next step is doing things. So, you know, they may need help. They may need financial help. They may need psychological help. They may need all different types of help. You can be that force that brings those resources to them, that, that empowers them to seek out those resources. And sometimes, you know, it might be something as simple as getting them a gift, taking them out for dinner, taking them out to get a coffee or something. These are very small things that we all are capable of doing. We all have the time for. It has the real potential to change things. Um, I'm not discounting, you know, investing in mental health. I'm not discounting um, in, in gun reform. I'm not discounting any of these things. I'm not trying to, you know, take a, take a side here politically. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of us feel powerless um, these days. We, we, we see society spiraling out of control um, and we don't feel like there's anything we can do. I'm here saying there are things we can do. There are things within your power. And if you heard this and it resonates with you, I want you to have this conversation with somebody else in your social circle. I want you to help them see this. Um, anytime somebody complains to you about how horrible society is, I want you to share this advice. And I want you to tell me, maybe there are other things that we could be doing. And I wanna hear that. It's only by, by, by being a resource for each other that I think we're gonna get out of this. I don't think we can rely on the powers that be to, to help us. I think we're gonna have to help each other. So I definitely look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you.